Hello everyone, welcome. This video is presented by the SHLDB in the group Sales Video Makers. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it for you to have much more videos which are coming to come furthermore. In this video, we are going to see how to calculate the median of multiple variables you are entering into the program. So we are going to show you a program that is going to calculate the median of multiple values you entered. So let's see. The first thing in this video is to visualize the code. The code may seem complex, but when you study in science video makers, and please don't when you study in science video makers, and please don't forget that S at the end, when you study in science video makers, you're going to realize that the C programming is going to be reduced to the minimal level for you to have the best understanding as possible within even two days. So you can have the, the intent. From there, you're going to see what's the explanation of that in I0, explanation of this, what's the meaning of float, what's the meaning of print F, what's the meaning of this loop, what's the meaning of scan F. So studying your simple C programming in Sound Video Maker presented by the SHRDB, you're going to have the basic knowledge on C, and that basic knowledge of C is going to help you create multiple console program as you wish. You can create a program which is going to calculate, um, um, you are going to create a program which is going to calculate any figure or even drawing graphs when you have the basic knowledge on console programming shown in Sound Video Maker. You can even create a program which is going to even um, diagnose a disease on a patient. You can even create a program which is going to take the different um, signs and symptoms and then write the treatments that the patient is going to have. So, so know the basic of console programming in Sales Video Makers and don't forget to like and subscribe to have much more videos. So let's come to this point, to this tutorial back. So here we are supposed to calculate the median. So this is a brief code and the code takes 80 lines, but this is because of spaces. But if I remove all the spaces, I'm going to take the code of 50 lines. But you, should, you need to know that I've initially, this program consists of two main programs. Because the mean is, if you say that the median is defined as the middle value of variable in an ordered series. So I initially started by creating a, a function for the other series, and then I, cal I calculated the middle value. So let's execute and see how the program works. To cancel this and start back. So the program tells you enter the total number of variables. So I will first start by entering the total number of variables as being total number of variables being odd number. We need to know that there are two different procedures which are involved in calculating for the, the, the median in odd no, when the total number of variables is odd number and when it is even number. And all of this is considered in this code. This is why there is this loop. This first, this first statement, if statement, this first if statement is trying to compare for odd numbers and this second if statement is trying to compare for even numbers so let's see how the code will work i'll first start with the total number of terms being um, even numbers let's say it's odd numbers let's say seven so you have seven as total number of terms so i'll enter the variables i have one i have four i have three i have seven i have uh, nine half two half three so you have one two three four five six seven now i can enter and see that the other series is 1.0 2.0 3.0 3 and you have all that series there now the median will be given you have one year this 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 you see that the middle term is actually 3.0 so here you have your middle term. 
So we are going to continue now with when the total number of variables is going to be um, even numbers. So now we compile and run. Now when we, the total number now is even number, let's say even number is 8. We enter the values. You have 1, you have 3, you have 2, you have 5, you have 3, you have 9, we have 2, and we have 3. So we count them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So these are 8, no, eight values. So 8 values now, you see. The median is 3.0. The other C is given to you 1.00, 1.00, and all that. Now we see that here the median, you see 1, 1, 1, this. You see that the median is going to be located in between both. And now when it's calculating, it's giving the middle value. Now let's do again another program where the median will have a 0 0.5 in case of even numbers. So let's say that you have um, four numbers. In this case, we have 1, we have 3, 4, we have 3, and we have 2. We see that it's going to be 2.5. 2.5 because in case of even numbers, I've placed a an if statement here. That if statement compares, it add the uh, it add this first term. That if statement used to add this first term to this next term and then divide all them by 2 in order for you to have the median. So with this simple program, we are capable of calculating a complex it with complex variables with very long number of terms, even 100, 1000, 1050. The most essential thing is to enter all the data. When you enter all the data, you're going to have the media which is being solved. So, please don't forget to subscribe for Science Jamaica channel and like it. From here, say thanks for your kind attention. But Lastly, a small part of the program has been forgotten. We didn't calculate this last point here. We said ages, you had 12, 13, 8, 9, 12, and 12. This was an example I've taken initially. Now let's come back again and try to come and try to visualize the median in this key question. Let's say we have eight children with different ages. So when we compile and run, in this case, there are going to be eight children. I'm going to enter each of the values inside. You have first value 12, the second value 13, the next value 8, the next value, the next one is going to be 9, the next one 12, the next one 12, the next one 13, the next one is 9. So we have 12, 13, 8, 9, 12, 12, 13, and 9. These are all the values. So I now enter and we have the other series. Other series going to you 8, 8 years, 9 years, and all that. You see that the median is going to be, you see that this is inverse number. It's going to be located between this 12 and this 12. And there is no value between this 12. So the median is going to be 12.00. So for me, I will say, don't forget to like the channel. Sub, 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 don't sub, forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for your keen attention.